So instead of using a domino, this is these are my two setups at the left is a an earlier setup where I mounted a, a Jessam mortise mill horizontally and I used the surface of the table and on the right is a, uh, a newer uh, refurbished horizontal mortiser. The mortise mill works in conjunction with uh, with a, an end mill at a very large bearing and it's designed to work very well with a, a hand drill, an electric hand drill at the right at that lower speed. It, it worked well for, for until I, of course, came across the refurbished uh, vintage horizontal mortiser dedicated with the dead instructions. There was no provision for that at all. And the slots are used, again, are created use, uh, using a drill, uh, just a regular uh, portable drill, a, a bearing that's included within a fine uh, micro-adjust system that I developed. Yeah, I'd like to talk about a uh, mortising system I've been using for a few months now. This is loose tenon joinery. And it's uh, it's a slot mortiser. So this uh, this began as a, uh, a Jessam uh, Corporation uh, zip slot mortise mill, and I acquired this. I purchased this several years ago, used it a few times, but I was not really satisfied with uh, with the results. I uh, the results were great, but the, it was sort of cumbersome to use. Uh, it's designed to sit on the uh, to be clamped or attached to the uh, the edge of a bench uh, with. Uh, a vacuum hose and what it and functions with a, a power drill and its own a unique uh, drill bit. Uh, it's, it's an end mill actually that, that works with in conjunction with uh, a bushing and, a, and a, a, sorry, a, a bearing bushing system. And the, uh, the actual slot is created by, by moving the, uh, the way along two uh, rails with the uh, well, drill in place. So it worked, it worked fine. I just found it cumbersome because I had to align the boards vertically in one case and horizontally in the other and there was no support for the board. So after, uh, after using it for a while, I sort of gave up on it. And I've, it's been sitting in, on a shelf and gathering dust for uh, actually for a number of years now. So it's actually a very well engineered uh, piece of machinery. Uh, this is the vacuum slot two and a half inch hose. There's all sorts of uh, adjustments to create the actual uh, slot. Uh, this is the width adjustment. This would uh, orient the, uh, so the width of the, uh, the slot. This is the actual offset from on the edge of a board from top to bottom, these, these, these two adjustments, and they, sh they need to be parallel actually. Here. And uh, the other adjustment is a top plate this actually holds the board either uh, in this in this uh, orientation or, or this orientation against the uh, the uh, the jig, the tool, and the uh, while you're actually uh, driving uh, the end mill with a, a power drill and uh, going back and forth. Now there is a, a, a small technique to actually performing that correctly. So just. Uh, I'll just show you what I've done here with the micro adjust system. This is the carriage I was referring to uh, earlier. And this, uh, this moves up and down to uh, create the offset for the, uh, for the slot. So typically the slots, the slots are centered, but you can offset them. Aside from that, the, uh, the you need to raise this carriage or lower it to uh, accommodate thicker boards. So if this board were twice as thick, for example, the carriage would have to be raised. And to raise it without the micro adjust, would, would, uh, I would have to release these two screws and then uh, physically move it up and down and try to uh, tighten the screws while I'm holding it, which is fairly difficult to do. So what I've done is I created the micro adjust, so I just back the screws off and then just uh, I can adjust and I can create a sort of an axis of micro adjust so I can I can raise it and lower it and it's very, 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 very simple to raise and lower. You can see it going up and down now. So actually the weight of the carriage uh, works to my advantage because it actually keeps the, keeps the assembly uh, together to actually uh, raise and lower. So um, this makes my life much easier using this unit mounted uh, mounted horizontally as opposed to uh, with the original mounting 
instructions were. So Next, I'm demonstrating the uh, how the micro the uh, micro adjust system I developed works uh, with using a, a hand crank, and it you can move it up or down with and fine tune the adjustment. So this actually centers the uh, slot in the end or edge of a board, or offsets it from an edge. So it works really well, and you almost need this with this type of mill to uh, to make it functional, make it usable. So next, I'm uh, I'm creating mortises in a table leg using uh, shop-made outboard support. So because the mortise mill is uh, is uh, mounted horizontally, I can use the actual table surface on a on a shop cart as a, as a reference or as a support. So it works much much better than uh, when the mortise mill was mounted vertically and having the board hang down and trying to clamp it and keep it from falling. As you put pressure with the drill, it would press the board down. That didn't work, so that explains the um, unpopularity of this jig until I made this modification that works really well now. So this is the uh, beginning of the operations. I have a, uh, a table leg mounted and I've already created one slot, you can see, and I'm creating another now. So next we are, uh, we're setting up to uh, mortise the end of a rail or end of style, and then I'll join them together and I'll, I'll show you how accurate and precise this, this jig, uh, this mortise mill actually works. So I'll just go ahead and clamp this now. So it needs to be uh, very securely clamped. And I'll, uh, I'll actually talk about the additional part of this that I, the micro adjust part of it that I created afterwards to uh, facilitate uh, moving the assembly up and down until the crosshairs are centered in the, uh, where the actual location of the, uh, of the loose tenon or the mortise will be located. For example, uh, this is centered along the edge, but it doesn't necessarily have to be centered. It could be offset from either side. Uh, hence, the, uh, they provide this, this adjustment, and the adjustment also enables you to uh, create sl uh, slots and thicker, thicker uh, boards. So if this were twice, the, uh, twice as thick, I would need to raise raise the carriage to correspond to create that, that mortise. So, but because it's mounted uh, vertically, it's a little bit difficult to do. It's not as easy because it keeps dropping due to gravity. So I've created the micro adjust system, and I'll I'll demonstrate that afterwards. But only after I've created the uh, mortises because it's preset. You need to clamp the boards down fairly securely, and I use this uh, deep throat clamp to uh, a very deep throat clamp to uh, be able to do that. And so I've already marked the boards, and one of the markings is very simple. It's just uh, center line. So this uh, this orients the slot at the center line of the uh, of the edge of the board, although it can be offset. And uh, this is, uh, the other marking is the distance from the end. So this is actually the beginning of the, uh, of the mortise with uh, allowing for 3 sixteenths, which, which would be uh, half the, uh, the diameter of the, uh, of the drill bit that I'm using. So these are the only two markings. And you can, um, once, I, once I've uh, marked these off on the board, I just orient this on the, on the unit and I center it through a, through two crosshairs on the actual unit itself and then clamp it down. So I'll do that now.
And I'm using ear protection because it's quite noisy. Uh, the actual uh, the creating the mortise isn't noisy at all, but the uh, vacuum system is. So, so I'll have to uh, reduce that volume uh, shortly. And this is the uh, the drill I use. I actually use a I don't use a cordless drill, although you can. And this is the end mill with a collar, with a stop collar. So this is already preset to the uh, the depth of uh, one inch, which is half the uh, the length of the uh, of the actual tenon, a loose tenon, so half uh, half of two is one, so uh, an inch on either of the uh, frame members. So that's uh, that's the actual slot. So if I measure this, I have uh, oops. If I measure this, I got about an inch there. So that should be uh, that should be fine. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do the uh, the completed uh, loose tenon mortises for uh, the legs rails. And aprons can be seen here. All the components have loose tenon joinery now created with that uh, mortise mill. And this is an example of the uh, subsequent rail and style joined together with the loose tenon joint.